So welcome to this preview of Intel Software's Good Beamer Requirements interface for MATLAB Simulink, which is an add-on for the MATLAB Simulink verification and validation module that allows to link Simulink model elements with user stories, requirements, use cases, or test cases in Good Beamer ARM. Installing the Good Beamer RMI add-on is quite easy. Just go to the location where you have downloaded the add-on, for example here. Double-click on the add-on and say install. Now it's installed. And we can go back to our workspace and open a MATLAB Simulink example model. There is one warning that can be ignored. And within MATLAB single link, we will find Code Beamer now under the Tools menu. And we first have to configure the connection to the Code Beamer server. So we have to define the URL and the username and password to log on. All access will be done with that user that you specify here. Okay? As soon as we have set up our connection, we are ready to roll. And we can now connect model elements in MATLAB single link with code beamer items. Simply select an element, right click, and under requirements traceability, we can open the link editor and now say we want to link a new requirement and under the document type you can now choose to link in code beamer item and browse allows you now to select the project and the tracker where the item should be linked. These are all projects and trackers visible to the specified user that you entered during setup of the connection. So we take the customer requirements for now and the document index gives us the outline of the selected tracker and we can select one specific item to link. That's done now and if we go back to requirements specifically again you can see here is the linked item and clicking on that item brings up that item in code beam. Where we can see all the additional attributes. You can also, we can also create a bidirectional linking. Therefore, you have to say in requirements for stability settings that destination should be modified for bidirectional linking with this checkbox. And you should use the shortcut link to code beamer item. This makes things easier than what you saw before in that link editor. Again, choose a tracker. If not, no tracker has been previously chosen, use the choose the button here. Let's, let's take the architecture tracker. We see again the items in the case okay, this is be the, the drivers or we could say it's the, the, the seven interface and link. We have now linked two different Goodwimmer items to the one element. If you click on the HL7 interface, you can also see that here is a backlink to MATLAB. So clicking this link brings up MATLAB again and the linked element is highlighted. So 
you can see which elements have links. In the link editor, you can also remove links. So I okay, don't want that anymore. And there are different analyses. For example, in requirements visibility, you can generally make a consistency check. It says, okay, which elements are linked and is, are the links still valid? Consistency checks have passed, no invalid links, and we can also say requirements traceability highlight model. And we can simply click on an element to see details of the linked requirement. There's only one of the specific. 